Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Bit of a later start this morning. Decided to go out on a bike ride with the boys before work. Uh, made it especially easy when I saw that Asia had the big bulk of the move last night. As we all see, Euro broke back through 115, ripping through uh, undoubtedly loads of stops from all the big guys who sold through 115. Uh, we've been up to 40. Um, I think this is now uh, a fade up at 115.76. So basically we had the down move. This is just stopping out all the shorts. But I do believe the true move is move left. So I'm not going to sell 40s here. I'm going to wait to try and sell 70 uh, between 55 and 75 today. Uh, but I do think this is a fade. Same thing with the Aussie. We've printed a high of 62. Um, this is more likely. Uh, this is more likely to sell kind of right around here. Um, you can probably sell this between 60 and 80 today. I don't think things have tra changed too much on the trade side. I don't expect some massive, unbelievable breakthrough. Um, and so Aussie, I think, is going to continue to go left. Uh, if you look at the dailies, we've had a nice now move up. And this is now going to be the top of the range, and this will be the middle of the range, and then we'll 72 the figure is going to be the bottom of the range for the next leg down, which I think is going to be coming... Um, this fall. Euro yen clipped through 127 and then we did a little turn bar already. Euro yen, this here, exhaustion, close where it's open, doji on the hourlies. It's not super powerful, but it's powerful enough. Um, this is quite interesting. Uh, also, gives me an indication that we're running out of steam already on this. As you can see, equities did not. Uh, play along with this. Absolutely no volatility in equities. This is just purely a foreign exchange move, a DXY move. Um, stops getting cleared. Speaking of the DXY, let's have a look. Yeah, just back below 95.60 again. A daily close below this is pretty, uh, pretty severe. That said, a daily close above it is just a stop run. So, Keep an eye on this 95.65 level in the DXY. Give you kind of a clue whether this has more energy or not, or whether this is going to run out of steam. Dollar Turkey and Dollar Rand still. Well, dollar Zars lower now. Um, that came off quite quite a bit. The dollar Turkey still uh, 608. It has done nothing. Uh, and if you think about, you know, our bull bear line 540, anything above six is is troubling in Turkey. There's just a whole lot more of bad news coming out of this place. Uh, there's no way they can finance their dollar-denominated debt, and just not looking good. So I think we're this is right now we're taking a breather on what was the first inning of a big uh, risk-off move. Now we're going to take a breather here, confuse some people, uh, and then the second, third, fourth, fifth innings will sort of begin after Labor Day or maybe the last week of August just to catch a few vacationers uh, napping. And then September, October, it's going to be standard this year with um, some kind of tidal wave of risk-off. Anyway, so that's where we stand today. We're fading Aussie uh, right around here. We're going to start. We're fading Euro above 50, between 50 and 80. Um, we're still sh core short Nazi and trading that, trying to get a better average. We're actually not doing a very good job trading that here. I hope you guys are doing better out there. But uh, that's where we stand today. Uh, we will check in later. See how things are going. FOMC minutes tomorrow. Otherwise, the calendar looks pretty weak today. So, let's just see how we do. 
Good luck out there, people. Talk to you later.